restarted. Hey y'all. How y'all doing? Really? Is it cause my glasses? I didn't think it was that bad. Oh yeah, I, I put like a thing in it so it's like calmed down. It's calmed down now again, so it's getting curlier because it's not like all remember how like gross it was? Oh, it's sticking out here. Remember how gross it was? Um like it was like crunchy. But now it's like actually curling again. I think. We'll see. I normally would have gone to bed and then we would see how it dries when I wake up. But you know, uh desperate times call for desperate measures. No, so I did like um I probably did over condition at some point. Um it was a uh uh it was like some kind of rinse thing and it had like apple cider vinegar and like uh something else. I don't know, so we just like put it in. Thank you, Pharaoh. Uh I put it in my hair before I shampooed it. It said you're supposed to use it like alternating with shampoos. But I didn't. I don't wash my hair every day. I shower every day. But I don't wash my hair every day. So I was like, oh. <laughs> no, I'm trying to save my hair. I want it to be long again. I used to have really long hair before I donated it. I want it long again. Uh, no, <laughs> small eyes. Oh yeah. So this is Penicone Part Two, or this is the 2.2 Quest Part Two. Uh, no comments about how tiny can't even see how tiny my glasses make my eyes look. I know. I can't see. My eyes are really bad. And I was taking a contact break today as my optometrist recommended. So no comments about my tiny eyes. It's rude. And that's why I never wear my glasses. <laughs> see, cause I can't, like I can't even see right now. Like I can't make out a thing. My eyesight's really bad. If you guess how, if you guess my exact prescription in the comments, I'll, Get by you a walk-in or a jade pass, whatever they're called. They'll never know. You're both wrong. And also I said, I meant in the comments of the YouTube video, so when the YouTube video uploads, you can go and comment there. Also Darcy, this is the start. So if you want the intro, that was the intro for the continuation. I tried to make that as painless as possible. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on Star Rail. Storm real. Come on. Storm real. That's also wrong. Actually, I'm not going to tell you if it's right or wrong because you guys can just comment it on the YouTube video like I said. Oh, what the hell is this? What is that? How did my hair wrap around my butt? Oh. One of your devastating news, guys. At my current job, we have a new coworker and apparently he's cute. And I'm really upset because I've had no coworkers my age and no cute coworkers. So I've been going to work looking like a bum. Cause I don't care. They're all middle-aged, you know? I'm not putting on makeup. I'm not doing my whatever. Let me tell you something. If I have to look nice now at work, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be pissed. Then I have to try. Well, I don't have to, but... Hey, means. I could I could be not like the other girls like 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 I could just be like oh I just have a messy bun and my blue orbs like I just you know just uh act like I'm not interested I'm really not if I'm being completely honest though they're watching my stream I think only one of my current coworkers knows about my stream if I remember correctly wow Darcy you didn't claim my welcome today I'm shocked you passed like I've been trying to log in at work again because you yelled at me for not doing my dailies anymore. And they've been done. <laughs> um, okay, hold on. Let me put my headset on. Do, 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 do. Hello. Where's Sorella? at? Okay. Never get ready for a man real. I say that on my wedding day. Okay. 
Oh, well, thanks, Stream Elements. Thanks, Stream Elements, so much. I'm gonna have to blow up my bangs later. This is the best you're getting. Leave me alone. It's a work day. Okay, so we actually left um, quite literally at the biggest cliffhanger. So we're gonna go right into that because, uh, hi, Starface. I saw you join the Discord earlier. Uh, but we're gonna go right into that. We finished off. Uh, Gallagher was gonna show us the Watchmaker's big reveal. And I just didn't. We're still in like purgatory or whatever the hell we are. This haven of memories. Every I'm touch, lagging. Every moment. Hello? Like oh, nice, Star. Good. I'm glad to hear it. <gasps> yeah, I lagged for a bit. It doesn't say I dropped any frames, though, so that's good at least. I was like jumping. I wish you and Granny happiness. Thanks, Granny. Thanks, Bird. God, that poster's creepy. Uh, back here again. Sometimes I feel like you're still alive. Got I feel so like he's gonna be like like Walt too. Disney, like cryogenically frozen in some kind of robot or like brought the future trail, <laughs> like a cryopod. So and he just comes out, he's like a robot, and he's like, hey y'all! So How y'all doing? Y'all like the park? But I Everyone's screaming in terror. <laughs> Don't let us down, old man. This is cool. And the reveal is Go ahead. His resting place lies in the garden up ahead. If I see his head, you guys owe me a million dollars. Last nameless of Penicone. Mikhail Char Ledwood. The watchman. My beautiful Acheron, head in a pickle jar. Don't forget to let your friends in on the action. What do you say, mommy? Sorry, I'm sorry. What is that? See, he left behind is a dream bubble. I believe inside that bubble, there's something that holds meaning only for the nameless. Ooh. All, Ooh. Contents, I found nothing inside. Maybe some trailblaze runes. Even more mysterious than me. I just realized this fucking slob's tie tucked into his garters. He just makes me sick. More sick than that dead body I just saw. Do not touch the dead man. Imagine his head's in the bubble. I'd laugh. <laughs> Thick viscous memoria. Ew. Gross. <laughs> Sounds disturbing. Nothing 
anything at all. <laughs> Ew! Touch that with- Honestly, maybe it feels like the snail mucin. That is good for your skin, so maybe it's like that instead. He's dead, right? So. Yeah. Just as I suspected. That old man always had this strange belief in the nameless and the trailblaze. And I never understood where he got that confidence from. Especially since he never managed to get in touch with the Express while he was alive. I could never figure out what was going on in that old man's head. But this empty dream bubble is so typical of him. He was always full of weird fantasies and incomprehensible romanticism. Hmm. <laughs> that mischievous old man. Well, I didn't expect him to leave anything concrete behind anyway. Surprised he's not like holding his subconscious. Oh, his bird. Sure Mikhail has left us the most precious bird mentioned. All. His corpse? <laughs> Don't start getting all philosophical on me, all right? Just as Mikhail believes in the nameless of the future, we unconditionally believe in the nameless of the past. How could they leave with regrets for the future when they were ready to dedicate their lives to the land they loved? There must be something contained in this dream bubble. It's just we haven't figured it out yet. You also have faith in the Watchmaker, don't you, Gallagher? Well... I'm a follower of the Enigmata. My philosophy forbids me to have faith in anything. That He's just so different. I understand what faith means in the path of Trailblaze. And I also want to know what he left behind. <laughs> I'll leave it to you guys then. Am I going to have to go inside this dead hmm. guy's head? Can I don't I want to. I need to make a trip back to Golden Hour and check something at the Dreamscape sales store. It's for oh. Mikhail and for the future of Penacony. Welcome to the Reverie Hotel. How oh, these two idiots. Greetings. We're the Nameless from the Astral Express, and we'd like to check in. The Astral Express? But I thought... Yes, my companions already checked in. My name is Dan Hung, and I believe my personal information is recorded in your Oh system. my god, this is going to be the, uh, the one-bed trope. I see, but your companion said you wouldn't be coming due to a change of plans. Well, he changed his plans again. Now the plans have That's changed. what I'm saying, and, and he's right. Yup. And you are... His bodyguard, question mark? Me. Pong, Pong, the new nameless who's also with the Astral Express. Pom Pom is crazy. <clears throat> He's my fellow trailblazer. Pom Pom mentioned. Woo! To the family's invitation before he boarded the Express, so he wasn't registered in your system. <clears throat> is it possible to accommodate him as well? Oh, I see. Another one Sorry. of the nameless had a similar situation. It seems like a lot of people are joining the Trailblaze these days. Since there's a precedent, it shouldn't be a problem. Just he does have our like, you know, coloring and like the hair is similar-ish. They could be sisters. I'm sorry, dear guests, but it seems I'm unable to reach the other members of the Astral Express. Sorry. What do you mean by unable to reach them? They're in purgatory, remember? My apologies. Oh, wait, he doesn't know. This is the first time well, this is what happens when he always stays on the boat. However, the system indicates that those guests are still in the dreamscape. How about this? Give me their room number. We'll go check on them ourselves. It's so loud in hotels. I'm afraid that's not possible. I need to verify both of your identities before I can share any guest information. The, sh the ship. How about 
you just wake the space up boat, someone. spaceship. Let's say, uh, it's fine. Well, you know what I mean. I'm sorry, but there are strict rules regarding forced awakening. It cannot be done without the proper clearance. Oh. So it's a spaceship works, huh? train, and boat What's is a synonym for now? ship. Are you saying we sleep here at the reception? Sleep on the floor. Please be patient. We need to contact your companions and oh, confirm me. your identities. It is a spaceship. And now it seems you need a space to train identities <laughs> before you can contact our companions. It seems so. It's quite the conundrum oh, we have going on. Fudge. Look, nothing personal. But if you can't handle this, go find someone If you can't else handle the can, heat, okay? get out of the kitchen. Uh, How? Please calm down, dear guests. I do recall that Mr. Sunday, the Sunday's with them. personally handled this issue earlier. Oh, please wait a moment while I contact him. I don't think she's trying to give us a hard time. She really just doesn't know what to do. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. You tried to contact them on the express earlier, but they didn't respond. Is Don Hong short or is Boothill just really tall? <sighs> Something doesn't seem right. I need to leave for a moment. You can stay here with the receptionist. <sighs> sure thing. Just don't keep me waiting forever. Don Hong seems pretty worried about his companion. Oh, that was sweet, Starface. Thank I you. Give him some space. Stressing out about it won't help anything. Oh shit! I got a Glock in my Rari. Okay, maybe I get it. Hear me out. Maybe I understand. Like the way his hair kind of flows. Maybe I take that back. Maybe I take that back. The Charmony Festival is about to start. I'm so excited. He's clutching, all right. You guys here for the Charmony Festival? Well, I didn't come all the way here specially for the festival. Honestly, I don't really even know what it's about. But I heard it's a lot of fun. Well, he's about to get traffic, y'all. Well, back in my home world, Anaria. Back in my home world. Like all the time. My dad threw me a birthday party one a time. Birthday party. Just as extravagant as the Charmony Festival. Oh yeah, Darcy and Mayu, we're having a slumby the with Walti tonight. Is a once in an amber era event. Thanks, thank you guys, Tiny. Well, uh, you never know, right? Maybe on her world. Birthdays only happen once. She says that rich people accent. Anyway, let's forget about that. Have you heard about the uh, unsettling things happening in the dreamscape? Unsettling things? What could possibly go wrong? It better not ruin the Charmony Festival. I've been looking forward to it. Relax. With a big event like this, Hello, there's are you? bound to be lots of gossip and rumors. Don't worry. She's me. Does happen, Bring it all to me. Give me the gossip. <sighs> oh, that's a relief. I didn't come all this way to see the festival go down the drain. This boat is kind of scary. <laughs> Looks like I won't get any fudging clues out of these two. Is he all... Are, are all his appendages, like... Uh, electronics? Here is so Stop leaning forward, it's not doing you any favors! Okay, so it is everything in his head. Okay, so that's what I was wondering. So then that makes sense why he doesn't have a butt. Oh, shoes. That makes perfect sense. Greetings. I'm Cody of the Bloodhound family, head of security for the hotel. It builds character. Angst builds character, but it doesn't build glutes, so. Oh. So, uh, there's something I wanted to ask about. I've been hearing some 
unsettling rumors about certain incidents that might affect the Charmony Festival. He has that like 90s model look, it's fine. Anything to be worried about. I traveled all the way from the Hayai Federation. Like if he started shaking ass, you might see his tailbone. Like ruined. it's fine. Um what do you mean? Wait. You haven't heard. I'm not sure where you heard those rumors, but they're completely baseless. I can assure you, as a representative of the Bloodhound family, that everything is going smoothly for the Charmony Festival. Yippee! At present, all of the families are focused on making sure the festival starts on time. Even the Dream Master himself has arrived. So don't worry, your trip won't be in vain. Ah. Uh. That's a relief to hear. She doesn't appear to be acting. So, it seems that even the hotel staff are out of the loop. This idiot doesn't know a Back thing. Already? Hasn't she returned yet? No, oh, babe, they're gonna come with. I'm starting to wonder if sending her to contact Sunday was a good idea. Neither the staff nor does the he know Sunday seem to know anything about what's happening in the dreamscape and or does he just know like of Sunday always sees people enjoying themselves definitely not a good sign <laughs> I agree another unusual thing is that the oak family is supposed to be in charge of organizing the council and managing everything inside and outside the dreamscape That's a lot of responsibility. However, I walked around the hotel, but didn't meet a single member of the Oak family on such an important day. Well, that is true. Well, I'll be forked. If I remember correctly, the head of the Oak family is that Sunday guy. Sunday. Right? We shouldn't linger here too long. Let's go back to the Express for now. Uh, not so fast. Have you ever robbed? The IPC broke. If you run away now, everyone will be chasing after you. Hey, little bro. Are you suggesting we sit here and do nothing? Hell yeah. I wouldn't say do nothing, but let's stay put for now. Even I always forget his little sharky teeth. Interior motives. They couldn't have anticipated us showing up here. We're the surprise factor for him. They don't want to attract unwanted attention from certain outsiders, so... Chomp, chomp, chomp. That's true, they could just throw a fit. I don't like that, what they want. He could go Karen. The IPC lackeys are keeping a close eye on this hotel. If I were a family member, I'd find an official excuse and keep the surprise factors here. If we just wait here, that would be like walking into their trap. Of course, we don't need to walk into their trap. I gave a backup plan to the memo keeper. If it turns out we won't be allowed to enter the dreamscape, she'll order a drink for me in the VIP lounge at the hotel. Treat yourself. Reality. A secret signal. <laughs> That's right. Hi, Ethan. I didn't change it back. I'm so sorry. Guys, TikTok was just watching nothing. I mean, no one was there. Oh, the only people from TikTok came to Twitch, but that's really embarrassing. My fault, y'all. Oopsie. <laughs> if you have Thank more you, Ethan. Plans in the future, I hope you'll let me know in advance. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's one of my quirks. I have two oh, quirk, my hero academia. Friends. And if I reveal that I have backup plans, things can things can go awry. And that would leave all backup plans completely useless. How do we get into the VIP lounge? Get into this. He pronounces his T so clearly, Don Hung. Or at least his voice actor does. I think that's crazy. Recognition failed. Robot. Oh my goodness. You can actually look at 
Dennis. What does Dennis want from me? Lobby manager, right? Yes, I am. How may I assist you? We're the nameless from the Astro Express. We want to actually stand like that. There's something wrong with your system. The lady at the front desk said she would contact the manager, but now she's nowhere to be found. No, I had no idea it wasn't showing waiting. the right thing. Forever. Without any food or water. Oh. What the fork, man? Is oh. this how the family treats its guests? To get them. Uh, is this your idea of street smarts? Starting an altercation? It's called... What the fork? Stand what the flip? For your rights. How American of him. I apologize for the inconvenience. Please wait while we try to contact Mr. Sunday. I'll arrange two premium seats in the VIP lounge so you can rest there while you wait. <laughs> See? Just like that. Just... Uh, just... Don't call yourself nameless next time. This bar something else. Certainly, I know this place. Shaken, not stirred. Ah, uh, what's your favorite color? Have an order for a bottle of this Donna's White Oak. You help us find it. Has Donna's White Oak? Hmm. I think there might be a misunderstanding. We don't serve that here. Ruh -roh. He got oh. caught. No way. Are you sure you're not mistaken? If someone had reserved such a beverage, I would definitely remember it. It sells for hundreds of thousands of credits per bottle, after all. I think we have a blue roll. Do blue. I couldn't afford to cover for such an item if it were broken or lost. That's strange. Well, could it be that the memo keeper couldn't afford it? Then what should we do now? No, oh, no need to rush. Well, let's grab some drinks first. Maybe I arrived too early and he hasn't come yet. I like how his earring is a bullet. I think that's cute. <laughs> see what kind of juice malts you all have here. Uh, well, give me a glass of. Good night, King Star. Thanks for stopping by. I'll have it neat. No ice. Wow. That's the most expensive one on the list. You have a taste for the finer things. <laughs> it's on the house, anyway. What can I get for you? Anything you recommend is fine. Then I would recommend today's special, Glass Village. It's classic soul glad mixed with laboom juice. It's refreshing and suits your cool demeanor. Hmm. <laughs> Just one minute. He's emo. Leave him alone. Well, <sighs> they really said. With Is it impressive how loud I can do that? Ooh. Really Ooh. hits the spot. Truly. Sorry. Finest sherry cask aged malt juice in the cosmos. Dynamite barbecue with rocket fuel. Uh, is that really something that humans enjoy? Saw that by you. <laughs> hey, this guy doesn't know anything at all. <laughs> Ten blocks for. <laughs> as long as you are satisfied, dear guests, please enjoy. Let's give the memo keeper another half system hour. Where's Black Swan? Is she, she being rude? Show up. We'll need to come up with a new plan. In the meantime. Let's take stock of the situation. What do you think? The situation? The situation is unclear. Something must have happened on the planet of festivities, but the public is unaware of it. Someone in a position of power within the family must be covering it up. It's unusual for the followers of the Harmony to invite other factions, let alone the IPC and the Masked Fools. <sighs> If what you said about the Emanator of the Nihility is true, the situation in Penacony is a little complicated. No what I said oh. at least. Never mind, let me wait. Actually, there's something else I'm concerned about. Regarding Acheron. As you know, 
The faction that follows the path of the hunt are some of the most dangerous folks in the cosmos to mess with. Who in their right mind would impersonate the Sienjo Alliance or the Galaxy Rangers? It's like asking for a death wish. Not asking for a death wish, you know you're stronger. Isn't there a saying among the Sienjo people that uh, the rainbow set lets their luck's arrow do all the beating? Talking. Do all the talking. Well, <laughs> talking. You know what I mean. Even though the Galaxy Rangers have been out of sight for years, we've been keeping an eye on this region. Even the dumbest criminals know better than to mess with the Annihilation Gang. <sighs> much less the Rangers. Right, Annihilation Nation. But that Acheron lady, she doesn't seem like a lunatic at all. Um. On the contrary. She's highly logical and organized. She knows exactly when to hold back and when to strike without mercy. And do you believe that someone like her would have I'm an not control over them for impersonating a galaxy ranger? I'm not entirely sure. But I do have my suspicions. Maybe she knows a galaxy ranger or perhaps she's trying to lure us out for some reason. I can't figure out. And How are those strats? What worries me more are the anomalies within the family. They've summoned followers from various paths for the festival. No matter how generous such a gesture is, this move seems highly unusual. Unless the invitations weren't sent by them. Uh, if that's the case, it's even more intriguing that the family insists on organizing the Charmony Festival. Despite the chaos. Maybe it's she pay the harmony pool of strings. We find it beyond human understanding because it wasn't arranged by humans at all. People do stupid things out of irrational impulses. They abandon their principles when self-interest is involved. They believe in things they know they shouldn't and fudge. They embrace well, fudge. Impulse. But eons don't. They stick to their determined path and never turn back. Even if they reach a dead end. You think Shipei's will is behind all this? It may not necessarily be Shipei. But there's definitely some higher entity involved. I know it may sound pessimistic. But if human free will were reliable... Why would we even need I forgot you're going majors. to Korea next month. Also, thank you for the bits. It's very sweet. It's I'm so jealous of you. Me and my sister, want, she wants to go for her birthday. Paths. But I'm nervous like because neither of us speak any Korean. <laughs> but tell me how it is. Tell me any recommendations you have. But in my opinion, Akavili's fall holds significance for the Nameless. Oh. So you're saying the nameless now have to take responsibility for their own choices because they're absolutely What parts are you going to? Leader is gone. Exactly. I believe the purpose of the journey isn't just about following a path that's always considered absolutely right. It's more about doing your best to choose the right path for yourself among countless possibilities. Yup. Even with limited insight and judgment. I don't know what you've been through, but I agree that people must take responsibility nice. for their choices because no one else can do it for them. That's, That's very wise from this man. You need to uncover the imposter and figure out her true intentions. Just in case, I have a backup plan if the memo keeper doesn't show up. This is my final backup plan. I promise. You sure have a lot of cards up your sleeve. Well, going Call back to my old career would make things a lot easier. And by the way, when you were walking around the hotel, did you happen to see any important looking guests? Oh, What's we did. Plan? Oh, that rich lady. Simple. We just grab some hostages and use them as bargaining chips with the family. This guy. Maybe we can even take their identities. This fool. No need for that. 
will return to the Oh, June to August? You're going for the whole summer. Lovely. Wait. Are you getting scared? Draw your weapon. Let's make a big scene. Yup. Are you leaving, esteemed guests? Uh, would you like to cancel that as Donna's White Oak you just ordered? Huh? As Donna's White Oak? But didn't you just say... Ha <laughs> ha. Looks like you are a bit intoxicated, esteemed guests. Uh, you ordered a bottle of Asdana's White Oak just a moment ago. Right, bro. Hmm. Looks like your memo keeper friend has finally arrived. Oh. I was gonna say, I was like, no way they forgot! It's a black swan. Right. I forgot. Sorry, my memory's not the best. You know, too many modifications. <gasps> anyway, let me check. Well, fork me. It Frickin'. says Donna's White Oak, all right. And there's a note. Thank you so much for the raid. Hello and welcome. How is your stream? Uh, guys, spoiler warning. Um, We're doing Pentacony 2.2 story quest. Uh, we're, we're still in the early parts, but we have I have been probably doing it for a couple of hours between today and last stream. So just if you have not done it and you don't want it to be spoiled, spoiled spoiled i will not be upset if you have to dip but hello welcome how was your stream would you do have you been so many questions oh you finished the whole thing i only started the music event but it looks really cute i'll be waiting for you on the astro express no mistake that's oh, to go back to the ship oh spoiler so she suggested we find another place. Just trying my hardest to use my brain. It is not working. Now it's back to the Same work is taking over my life, but it's fine. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Because fingers crossed, you know what to deal with that. But you're back. Just journeying by or something. Saying they were looking for Boot Hill, so I told them to wait in the parlor car. Have you done this quest? Just get that bag. Get that eye bag, is what I'm getting. Yeah, her too. <gasps> Queen! Yay! On the Astral Express, but sneaking in like that, you have no regard for etiquette. Tell him, Pom Pom. My apologies, Conductor. It was an oversight on my part. I assumed you were already acquainted with the garden. Given the chaotic situation in Penacony, the Nameless are the only ones we can truly trust right now. Real? You are the memo keeper. Yes, she is. You have a problem with that? Pleased to meet you, Don Hung. I've seen you and others' memories. And I always have. People, this is our first face-to-face -face meeting. Always have eye bags. I hope you enjoyed that bottle of Astana's White Oak. You sure have. A oh my god, she's rich case. too? Yup. Finally, Memo Keeper. Well, let's cut to the chase. Spill everything you know. That's precisely Spill. what I intend to do. But before that, please allow me to introduce myself. Oh, please do, ma'am. I'll meet you a thousand times over. Black Swan. Oh. And I serve the Garden of Recollection. There's someone behind Memo us. Keeper. As for Acheron's story. Should I be alarmed, y'all? I'm sure she knows it better than I do. Greetings. I'm Acheron. And I'm afraid. Just kidding. Not me. They might be, but not me. I know my I know my wife would never hurt me like that. You betrayed me. No betrayal. Not yet. I apologize, but she did that at my request. Due to certain reasons, I have been exiled by the family. Thankfully, this memo keeper came to my aid. And helped me escape their surveillance unnoticed. To be honest, it was more like stalking than helping. So when it's so it won't be in the process. Penacony, I don't know from unnoticed, but we did escape. Sorry, I don't. I don't know how far back you are, but if you haven't done Penacony, you're gonna love it. It's a lot. Of, it's good so far. This last bit right now, the most recent part. It's long, like it's kind of dragging out a little bit. I find the pacing to be a little bit slow, but it's still good. Like everything's exciting. It's just taking forever. 
I asked her to guide me to a place beyond the family's reach and to contact a few trustworthy individuals. Namely, all of you. Hell yeah, she trusts us. Trust Woo! <laughs> Son of a nice lady. You think I'm dumb or something? Son of a nice lady? That's How unique. About this? I'll put a few bullet holes in your head and see what secrets spill He needs out. to stop before he gets Man, his shit rocked. We can talk about trust. It doesn't have to be like that. I'm willing to answer all your questions, but not right now. Period. My cover hadn't been blown. We might have had more time, but at the moment, we don't have any other options. No other options? What do you mean? This is the only way I can ensure everyone's safety. I kindly request an immediate Whatever you say. jump Ooh. out of the Astana star system. What? Oh, it's that serious, huh? I did not realize it was serious like that. As far as I can tell, she's not a threat and seems to be telling the truth. I've briefly traveled with your companions and know their whereabouts, Don Hong. Please rest assured, your nameless companions are safe, but they need our help. Oops, I just opened Chrome up. Hey, girl. Guest. I've been waiting for you. Galaxy Rangers are known for their elusive nature and limited contact with each other. So this was the only way- I forgot I he's one of the Galaxy Rangers. T. Clark, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome. Only by doing this can I find a true Galaxy Baby Ranger. Baby Reindeer? I have not. And fulfill a long-standing promise. To return his relics to their rightful owner. Okay. Someone once told me that every rainfall is like a gift from the heavens. A sign of their mercy upon the world. The only god that's true, but he's the only one we know. Tears of the gods shed in response to the sorrows of the world. Their constant pouring is a reminder that the gods haven't abandoned us yet. So how long has this rain been going on for? Ew, the hands of the water. Just like you. That it would eventually stop. Years and decades past. And in the end, such hope faded away before the rain did. Damn, it's serious like that. Looks like the god you mentioned doesn't exist after all. Yeah, the dripping is so creepy. Uh, how much shadow hints? You. Let me share a story. Mortals. We walk the paths are like sailors on a vast ocean, leaving behind a trail that creates countless ripples of possibilities. These ripples last longer than the fleeting lifetimes of humans. And for some, their presence leaves such a strong mark that it's reflected in the waves. Like those shadows on the ocean. Sin thirsters, the obsessions of the path strider. That was a very beautiful little yeah. analogy right there. I, I enjoyed that. Bye, pretty. Thank you for stopping by and Seeing hanging out. Talk to you soon, hopefully, fingers crossed. Yes. Destiny. But enjoy your dinner. Thank you again for rating. I really appreciate it. Repeated the actions of their past lives. They emerge from the nihility and head toward leading purposeless lives. Oh, sorry. However, these hollow phantoms, they were once my dear companions. Group of galaxy rangers. Are you watching over them? Watching over them? No. 
I'm guiding them toward transcendence. That's a little bit alarming. It was a brutal war. A crusade that shook the universe. The universe witnessed the fall of Zuro, the Lord Ravager, but it came at a price. A price so hefty that only those who were there still remember. The Sounds a bit dramatic, I'm not gonna lie, guys. The nation of the hunt followers persists even in death. So someone must guide these lost souls to their life beyond. They were heroes in their time. And they shouldn't be reduced to mere puppets of the nihility. As for me, I've suffered too many losses on that battlefield to advance any further. And that makes me the most fitting person to carry out this task. But you know, these sin thirsters, they're not who they used to be. Does this seem pointless to you? Not to me. Well, some tasks have to be done, even if they are pointless. But I feel like Akron is more like... <sighs> Logical, like she's like very like. I can help you. Straight to the point, direct. For what? For the meaning of the nihility. She's thinking, not the feeling. Seeking. She says she's a T, not a F. I see. After all, this realm is off limits to ordinary souls, right? Thank you, stranger. I wish that you find what you seek. Before we part ways, I have one more question. Is it is true that their actions and even their entire lives may seem pointless from our perspective. But if, and it's just an if, Heck if ups. this is what the departed ones expected, should we try to change it? A good question. And a profound one. I don't know the answer. What I do know is that one day I too will pass away. And when I bid farewell to this world, someone will stand at my grave and place a bouquet of flowers on it. That's a sweet plot. So dramatic, though. When I appeared as a child, my speech, mindset, and soul reflected immaturity and innocence. When you appeared as a child... As I grew into adulthood, I left behind my childlike side. My toes are cold. It's cold. My room. I humbly request your blessings, esteemed advocate of Shibe. This is lazy. I'm gonna say something. This is very lazy. I'm gonna. Like, why are we just getting ta like animate something? Come on. <sighs> Anyways. Come to me, my kinship. I have sought their presence. I like us. them occasionally, but this is just coming off as lazy as to you me. Wish. I have faithfully served the Alfalfa family for nearly a decade, promoting the path of the harmony to the best of my ability. However, I made a mistake yesterday. While I was preparing dinner for the family head, I accidentally dropped a prepared Didn't see dish what? on the floor. Out of laziness, I lied and claimed that everything was ready. <laughs> Although the head has dismissed me as punishment, it has been tough to sleep with the guilt still gnawing at me, as I worry that the seeds of evilness may have oh, taken root in, in my soul. So, 
I confess to you now to seek atonement for my sins. Uh, uh, I guess. If it hasn't happened, yeah, don't say it. Like, if I haven't seen it yet, if it's something I missed, you know, and I already did it, then you can bring it up because, like, maybe I just missed it. I wasn't paying attention. But if I haven't seen it, don't bring it up. Do you sincerely repent and vow to change your ways? I didn't see what it was, though, so you're fine. <sighs> yes. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Have you examined your soul and confessed all your sins? Lord, yes. Are you willing to accept the process of atonement? <laughs> yes. Very well. Show your dedication and goodwill to the family, and you shall be reinstated among them. Now, please, leave in peace. Oh. Praise Shipe. And thank you, esteemed advocate. Next. Please step forward. Like, why is he doing confessional? I I wholeheartedly confess to you. Please pardon my sins. Rest assured, I have implored their presence to be with us. As long as you are sincere. Absolution will be granted. Oh, oh scary. You know, I I arrived in Panacone as a stowaway. I sold everything to get a ticket. My house, my land, and my two children. He sold his children? I see. Please go on. Oh. My children were starving, and I hoped they'd have a chance at survival if they became slaves here. If, if I can strike it rich here, I'll oh, wow. lift them out of that situation. That's and really something else. The life they deserve. But the Bloodhound family got wind of it. They're on my tail, hunting me down. I thought I could bring my kids here. It was all my fault. All my fault. That sucks. But the family go next. is ready to forgive all sinners. I'll ask the Bloodhound family to cease their pursuit. You don't need to live in fear anymore. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll work my hardest to redeem my children and make them part of the family. Praise, praise the harmony. This, this is how he gets loyal Next, followers. Please step forward. Hey, long time no see, Mr. Sunday. The most esteemed Mr. Sunday? In and and the, next the next leader of the Oak family. Oak right? Right? Shut the hell up. Don't piss I me off. Sought their presence with us. Let us proceed. Sure. Let's just get this over with. <clears throat> I have sinned. Please forgive me. Why does he sound like I Bart Simpson? I have sinned. And a bottle of soul black. That's it. Nothing more. Can we wrap Hi, this Chase. Up? How are you? I've got a robo ball game to catch, you know? Do you seek to atone for your sins through good deeds? My sins? Oh, starting to sound like a saint, huh? He really Let sounds like Bart. This is tripping me up. Neither the family nor you have the right to judge me. Oh, wow. Okay. You think nobody knows what your precious family has done? About the watchmaker? Huh? <laughs> Don't kid yourself, Featherbrain. Those dream chasers... Featherbrain! New Sunday insult just dropped. But don't fool yourself. Chicken wing and feather brain is just really crazy. Holy verses. Answer me this. Where does the power of the Oak family come from? And your power. What makes you think you can sit there all high and mighty, looking down on everyone else? His angel wings attached to the back of his head? Well, I've spent 
spent enough time it's in like a pretty good qualification to enter the me. Paradise, right? then I'll take my leave. have y'all ever done confessional election? i have and, uh, went to catholic school though so don't make me regret the investment sorry i didn't want to I hit the mic Triple-faced soul, hear my doubts. Who can judge the strong when their power hides their crimes? Who can vouch for the weak when they will pay any price to survive? What? What if it called an oven when you of in the cold food of out? The hot eat. Wait, why do they call it an oven? What? Wait, what? Why do they call it an oven when you of in the cold food, of out hot eat the food? The last part doesn't make sense. Of out hot eat the food. That makes no sense. I got the first part. What the hell does that second bit mean? You know what? I'm doing something. I'm busy. I'm in confessional. Leave me alone. When even they get led astray. If the strong defending the weak is truly the foundation of paradise. That does not make sense. You guys are just being stupid. Like actual. Who makes no is sense. For the suffering and anguish in this wretched world. I blame uh, Gallagher for all the suffering and anguish, if I'm being honest. I blame Sampo. Brother? Brother? Brother, are you alright? I'm... fine. I've been working long hours, and I just made a trip to Dreamflux Reef and back. So, I'm a bit out of sorts. But it'll all be over before we know it. You've been working non-stop on the Germany Festival, Mr. Sunday, and no one could have predicted this incident. Even if the Stellaron does pose a grave threat, I still feel sorry for all the trouble we've caused you. <laughs> no need to worry about troubling anyone. The Charmony Festival was meant to spread joy and harmony across the cosmos. But now that we know the truth, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel it. Imagine you came to Disney for that and they just canceled it all. Like, I'd be so mad. Happy, so we'll do our best to explain everything to the Dream Master. I'm sure he'll understand. Even if the negotiation does not go smoothly. I'll refuse to go on stage. Without the Chord Master, the Harmonious Choir would not arrive. And the Charmony Festival would be just a grand performance. And nothing more. I'm relieved to see your determination. He looks relieved. Can't you tell by his no, expressive face? I kind of look like Walt right now. Pentaconian just old and tired. Contact with this dream <laughs> and glasses. Himself. I'd heard of the heads of the five major lineages, but the Dream Master is a mystery to me. The Dream Master rarely grants an audience, even for us. But given the urgency of the situation, I think they're little crowns, by the way. Agreed to meet us in person. Little halos. <laughs> Perhaps you'll be the first guest to meet the Dream Master in years, Mr. Yang. Let's hope we can reach a consensus that satisfies everyone. I love you all, Indeed. by the way. Let us hope so. It's about time. We'll have to get ready for the meeting. I apologize for any inconvenience caused by the urgency. Oh, excuse me. Don't worry. I'll be waiting here. Thank you for everything you've done. I'll be waiting here. Walt, I love you.
Anyways. Who's this little twerp? Uh, Mr. Sunday. Hey there. Okay. See the moon in the sky? It's about the sun. Drunken guest. My soul glad bottle. If I just reach down my hand, I could grab the moon, couldn't I? Actually, I, you can grab the moon if you get a running start and then jump off that. <laughs> you mean the Grand Theater? <laughs> In Bloxburg, of course. I was just joking. Yeah. I was just joking. Look oh, God, I forgot me. this rubber band. I've been away from home for too long. I must be missing that moon. <laughs> but it's no big deal. The Grand Theater here looks much better than the moon back home. It's just magnificent. They told me not to sell everything I had just to come to Pentaconia. Who is I'm they? Short sighted. Like selling everything you had. Why would you go to such lengths? Why? Can't you see? Life back home is miserable. It's not really living at all. Oh wow. It's better to be here at Pentaconia. Pain, no worries about I think this guy needs another drink. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. That's what I call living. <laughs> yeah, now this is the life. Is this truly living? I don't think this little twerp knows what true living huh? is, but. What did you say, young lady? I didn't quite catch that. I mean. Oh, it's nothing, sir. You see, the traffic on Glock Avenue can be like dangerous. that with his arm like? How about I ask a blood you forgot this happened? member to escort you to ID? The pacing's that bad, girl. So you can it's not terrible. It's just it's just a long quest. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Wow. No wonder you are the leader of this sweet dream. You're totally a lifesaver. See you around, Mr. Sunday, and uh, it was nice chatting with you. No acknowledgement for Robin? Look at her sitting here all cute. You're not even gonna say hello? Rude. What's up, sister? This is the land of the dreams. I always wonder if people who write siblings... Like if people who write siblings, like, have siblings. Because I don't think I've ever called my brother brother. Like, in my life. I don't think I've ever been like, oh, hey, brother. I just think that's so. The man we ran it's so into, it's so cold, so formal. He doesn't seem happy at all. He's a drunken three foot Even though sweet little are little guy, little lad, little Pepsi, Pepsi. What are they called? But for him, they're the only way to survive, even if it means giving up on reality. That's not really living at all. Oh, it's because it's translated from Chinese, I and we don't have honorifics, so it's the closest thing. But in my opinion, that's well, how like most we do, I guess technically. Why do you say that? You think that man is not actually living, but that's not quite accurate. Even without Penacony, people create their own illusions called self-value. People believe they have a predetermined value to fulfill. Gaining value means gaining power, mm -hmm. and those deemed worthless are seen as the weak. No respect in this. However, Real. Value doesn't come out of thin air, and there's a limit to it. To accumulate value, people have to take from others. Oof. So the weak get exploited and oppressed. Greedy? Are you suggesting that this is not how things should be? Probably not. Exactly. But, ironically, people don't think there's anything wrong with it. Because they uphold the illusory notion of self-value. And even the weak believe in it. The survival of the fittest. That's where all the tragedies oh. come from. Not that. Not Darwinism. Dream in Penacony to escape from that reality and find solace. No tragedies exist here. Only happiness. Although in its nascent form. Isn't that the same paradise what does nascent we mean? for in our dreams? Uh, perhaps that man is just an exception. 
Let's not jump to conclusions. We should experience the dreamscape ourselves. Just as I did at mm. Dreamflux Reef. Maya, you let your friend know that Sunday's on the yes. screen. Seeing is believing. I'll accompany you. The Dream Master hasn't shown up yet, so we have some time for a stroll. <sighs> Oof, okay. Uh, I do have terrible news. I am getting sleepy again, so y'all just let me know when it seems like there's a good time to break. Because I am getting tired. <laughs> My stamina is wearing thin yet again. Oh, she's so cute, but not as cute as... Shit, wrong one. Oh, shit. Hey, they took my acker on, I just realized. Mm. Glad to meet you again, Robin. How are the preparations for the Charmony Festival coming along? We're all so excited about it. Uh, it's going smoothly. Thanks for making the trip to join the festival. You're too kind, Robin. It's a pleasure to have guests from all over the universe celebrating day This festival and night. sounds fun as hell. I want to go. Like, I'm kind of mad. I can't stand being lonely or bored, so this jubilant dreamscape is perfect for me. But if this went on forever, would it get boring too? <sighs> nah, not at all. Who would get tired of having so much fun? Every day, you get to wear fancy clothes, uh, explore all sorts of dream bubbles, indulge in delicious food without gaining weight, and you never get old or sick. As long as you can afford a room, this place is the ultimate paradise. But then how do you go back to a regular life after all that? Like, I'd be so... Like, wouldn't that ruin reality for you? I know that only a few things can be brought back from the dream. Oh, well, see, there you go. I was about to say. That's exactly why I don't plan on bringing anything back. Just enjoying the dream itself is good enough for me. I, I mean, I'm not one of those long-lived species. I only have around 60 or 70 years in this lifetime, and uh, there's so much to worry about. Being happy here is pure bliss. Well, yeah. In this sweet dream, can I truly feel like I'm in control of my life and fate? Who would want to go back to reality after experiencing this bliss? I see. I genuinely wish oh, wow. you all the happiness in the world. And I wish you a fantastic performance, Robin. I'm off to the blue hour for the ball. See you later. I've always wanted to go to a ball. <sighs> Seems so Seems fun. Seems like that guest's perspective didn't resonate with you either. She had a valid point. I could sense her genuine happiness. It's just that... She almost sounds like Lamine, Robin. What you're trying to say is... She thinks she's in control Who of voices her, life, her? But in reality... She's just escaping from reality and seeking solace in this... Oh, she really... Once she steps out of this... And Trace is probably not until the other event's over, the music event. Honest. She did make mention of being able to afford a room, didn't she? However, the paradise in our dreams, it doesn't have to end. No, and the paradise we yearn for shouldn't be just a fleeting dream either. Mm-hmm. this old man Darcy I have terrible news for you truly breathtaking oh it's not Lumin's VA she sounds similar ish oh Robin can't believe I'm meeting you in person here oh excuse me I'm so sorry I'm yawning so much guys I'm making sleepy you're right even though time stands still in this dreamscape it always feels fresh I find something new every time. Is it done? A philosophical mind. I hope I'm not intruding. I thought you stopped. Oh, not at all. No. Do I have to do With it? With little time left, I yearn for meaningful conversations. Especially with someone as esteemed as you. It 
Do you mind if we chat? Oh, I can look it out to stream. No need to be formal. Just speak your mind. You said with little time left. Please forgive me for being blunt. But is that I'll why have to you open came it. to Pinaconi? <laughs> yeah. I was part of a war, and while escaping from the Sokozian mothership, I got exposed to some radioactive materials. Why is it echoing? All my comrades died. My hometown was wiped out by neutrons. Thank you for the vibe, and congrats on 26k on TikTok. Woo! Let's go star. Told you, people love the damage. Do crazy damage. Make good videos, too. But congrats, that's awesome. But thank you for... Oh, excuse me, 55, that was very sweet. How heart-wrenching. I hope the family has been able to help you. And they have, and I'm truly grateful for that. They provided me with a comfortable room, the most advanced life support devices in the cosmos, and a stellar team of caregivers. My physical body is now in the dream pool, sustained by life support. The me you see here is whole, rational, and no different from any other person. But I can't say the same for the me in the hotel room. Is he just scratching his ass? What was he doing back there? True appearance. No. I hope you never have to witness it, Robin. That's... So... You'll be living forever in this dreamscape. It jumps right. up and down. TikTok followers go up and down so much. Just being able to live at all is good enough for me. Whether it's in this dreamscape or not, well, I don't really have much say in the matter. My world has been torn apart, and my life could end any second. So, even if this whole place is an illusion, it's still my paradise and I'll treasure every moment I spend here <laughs> how I envy those everlasting things that old man's story it's so tragic fortunately this sweet dream gives him joyful memories to hold on to for the rest of his life that's precisely why this sweet dream in Penacony exists. However, even the sweet dream has its limitations. Hello, Aspen. How are you? While it provides solace to the disillusioned, it can't completely eliminate Back to the story class. There will be a way out. Penacony is already on the right track. I'm doing well. I'm sleepy. I'm, I'm actually might end a little bit early today. <laughs> I just, I wonder how fa how far am I into the game? Or the story? <laughs> Shit. Look what we have here. What? A lovely young lady. Oh, right. Wait, is that me? It is pretty slow, I'm not gonna lie. I wanna, it, it's good, but slow. Brother, what a surprise to see you again. She's a real, a real beast of a quest. Yourself. Your trick won't work on us. Yeah, duh. I've heard that a skilled math fool received an invitation too. That must be you. Did you enjoy right. yourself so? Did you enjoy yourself? Fairly. The people here are way too gullible. A little bait is all it takes for them to bite. And they run away at the slightest hint of danger. In other words, she's a rough one and cowardly. Now that you've had your fill, it'd be wise to leave before it's too late. The music of the harmony doesn't tolerate discord. What? Now that you have the real Robin, I'm useless? Oh, how disheartening. I've done so much for the family. You should be thanking me, because if it weren't for me cleaning up this mess, Penacony would still be in shambles. Don't you think? I don't really spend, luckily, that on the game. At least not much, from the or really at all, by Welkins. And it has nothing to do with us. Step aside, 
and stop causing trouble for the Charmony Festival. The Charmony Festival? <laughs> you think you can scare me? You think I Yes, I'll be live tomorrow for Genshin and maybe more sorrow, who knows. I don't care what you're thinking, chicken wing boy. Chicken wing boy. But I'm pretty sure that the Raven won't be appearing on stage. After all, you're well aware of what a sorry state this dreamscape is in under the banner of harmony. Hanakomi, the land of the dreams. Is this truly the paradise you desire? Hi, Star. Thanks for stopping by and hanging Stop. out. I'll see you soon. <laughs> What's the rush, chicken wing boy? Did I get to you? Our paradise is none of your concern, Master Fool. Leave now. Or the family won't tolerate you anymore. See, I'm 50-50 on which game has better design, because sometimes I think Star Rail, but sometimes I think Genshin, so I genuinely just think it's a character-to-character -character basis. Like, but I also think that's just, like, personality, like, uh, not personality, uh, preference, you know what I mean? The story is fun, yeah. It's been fun so far. Thank you, Van. Appreciate it. I'm actually out of water, so no more hydrated teams, please, y'all. All right, all right. I'll go. The good part. What's Let the good part? Go. I'm scared. Just you seriously consider this. Do you really believe those living in dreams can escape pain and find true happiness? I don't. <sighs> well, I guess my escape heart. us. And now I'm simply waiting for the fireworks to begin. Here, the last two well. gifts for both of you. Depends, because like that old man. If by some unfortunate chance the Charmony Festival starts against all odds, remember to use them during the show. And it'll be thrilling. Bang! I heard a raven calling in the distance. It seems the Dream Master will arrive soon. I'm scared, y'all. Or like, I'm gonna say something crazy. I don't love Robin's design like for a five star. I'm not obsessed. But like Black Swan, I love. She's so cool and unique looking. Akron, I love. Um, who am I just indifferent about? I think she looks fine. She's cute. I mean, that's fine. That's why it's an opinion, no? To me, she's literally just in a dress and with some cute jewelry. I like her crown. She's cuter than all the girls in Genshin. That might be true. Yeah, that might be true. Oh. But cute doesn't mean good. Like, to me, she's just cute. You know what I mean? Like, nothing is, like, very... Not always. Like, I think Lynx is cute. But, like, doesn't mean, like, Lynx has a groundbreaking, awesome, spectacular design. No. Lynx is just cute. I got a 15 Pity Walton instead of Robin. Then I got a Bernie Light Cone. Ooh, nice. Jesse, you're being obtuse on purpose. You know what I'm trying to say. Oh, her dress is cute. Let's wait here for the Dream Master to arrive. Okay. By the way, brother, I heard you no longer have a sweet tooth. I like her jewelry, though, I will when say. kids, you used to steal my desserts. Seems like a lot has changed during my absence. What exactly happened? Well, someone has to stay awake even in this sweet dream. But that someone doesn't have to be you or anyone in particular you're carrying too much on your shoulders brother or like why is she smiling while she's saying this like, so this to me is like maybe like put on a sad face like that's also another thing like the old man is talking about like how awful his life was and she just has like her little her cutie patootie smile on the paradise
paradise in our dreams. It shouldn't be like this. Like, see, she's looking down, but the she's still smiling. Nothing more than a dream. It can't erase the worries and pain. Thank you, Aspen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Or bring you happiness. It only offers an escape from reality. Nothing more. To me, she looks like um. Not those tears, bro. You know what it is? To me, she looks like Chiori, where it's just like, eh, it's cool, I guess. But like, I didn't think Chiori was a five star. Remember, I was con when Chiori, Chiori was first introduced, I was convinced she was a four star. Remember the old man we met earlier? Without this dream, <laughs> it's a Botox is crazy. Leave her himself. alone. That might be true, but even without Panacone. He could have chosen another path. As far as I know, the Intelligentsia Guild has been promoting their rehabilitation techniques for a long time now. Oh yeah, no, the cutscenes are... I'm not talking about the cutscenes. Those have great animation. I'm just talking like when they just stand there or recently they've been doing like the... the frame, the still frame. It's so lazy. That path may have been more ordinary and challenging. But now... He's receiving hospice care in a comatose state, and his fate is sealed. The cutscenes are bad, I die. Is granting these people a future? Or is it taking it away from them? See, why is she still smiling? Like... <laughs> like, this is killing me. Like, sure, her eyebrows are sad, her eyes are sad. Why is she smiling? Just a little, give me a little, little frown. That's all. Well, don't forget this. Not everyone really has a future. The future for humanity is like the sky for birds. People mistakenly believe that flight is inherent to birds because they've never witnessed those birds crashing to their death. Whew. Do you remember how we took in that little charmony dove when he we He does have young? psychopath vibes, I will say. That's probably yeah. why I like him. We took care of it. Provided food and water. I love the pink and like purple undertones to her hair. And later, when I decided to leave Penacony, I opened the cage and set it free. Well, I I didn't mention what happened to it in my letters because I didn't want to upset you. Uh-oh. Shortly after you left, it crashed to its death right in front of your window. I had surmised as much. So now she said. I have avoided mentioning the bird for no reason. Despite that unfortunate outcome, I still believe it was the right decision. Birds aren't meant to spend their lives in cages. They belong in the sky, even if they can't fly. But here's the thing. If there are birds in this world that can never fly, can we really assert that they belong in the sky? Well, then they were never birds. Are you implying that the same goes for humans, too? Let's take the Astral Express as an example. The Nameless made tremendous efforts to bridge worlds, gaining fame across the universe. However, only a few Hockey. extraordinary individuals can endure such a perilous journey. That's because the Aspen agreed with me. She didn't look like a five star, but that was the, the only argument. Of ordinary <laughs> humans. Yeah, that was the only thing Otherwise, you missed. Why would this path be filled with broken rails, an abandoned express, and even a fallen eon? That's just sophistry. If that were true, then only the powerful would have the right to determine the future. Unfortunately, that's exactly what happens. Another name for the future is self-value. While this world has its fair share of heroes who inspire people and garner admiration for their heroic deeds, the majority of ordinary people will never become heroes in their lifetime. Some are born weak and vulnerable. Some I would find like to be a hero. In unfortunate circumstances. A superhero! 
Some fall victim to malice like and the Hulk. cowardice. <laughs> I'm the Hulk. When it comes to survival, everyone is equal. And the weak can only watch as their value gets constantly diminished by external forces. That's why we should care for the weak. Physically and accurate, I ought to my own. That's what the odes of harmony have always taught us. While the harmony holds noble aspirations, the strong will always be strong, and the weak will always be weak. Even in this carefree dream, human nature contains greatness, but it also harbors inherent weaknesses that can't be eradicated. In the end, if people can't even secure their own survival, they won't care about the illusory future of equality. Just as like long as the law of wings? I can't remember. The fittest prevails, there will always be fledglings crashing to their death. What if people don't live for the future? Do they merely exist for survival? If even you, my brother, don't believe that the harmony will save the weak, then which eon can make our dreams come true? That's a great question. Oh. He either does People not know the answer or doesn't care. That when the first bird took flight, the entire world envisioned a future where no more fledglings would ever crash to their death. Are you reading, sister? What are you reading? Trustful boy. Mr. Gopher Wood gave me a picture book. It's about the story of the harmonic strings. If I could become a chord master, I'd like to summon Dominicus, the harmonious choir. I want to sing with everyone and spread our wishes so that all can feel happiness and joy. <laughs> I see. Then I would summon. What happened to my poor Sunday that made him so crazy, bro? Don't have a wish of your own, brother? Yeah, of course I do. It's just that it includes your wish and everyone else's. Aww. I long for a true paradise where everyone can find peace. Then let's build a stage there and invite everyone to our performance so that both our wishes come true through the power of the harmonious choir. It's a deal, then. Yeah, it's a deal. But I see you about you saw you one day. Become a chord master. Hmm. Maybe you will have to become a star first. Stars burn out. back sooner than I thought. Any results? Yes. And now, it's up to us to forge ahead. <laughs> when does Spood Hill come out? Since he's already carried out his last wish, my final mission is complete. But pardon me if I sound curt. It's good to have determination. The path Mikhail left for you is not an easy one to tread. Next phase, okay. Why else would he have chosen? I'll probably be skipping him. I want Sunday. Staking everything on some nameless in the future. But you have the numbers. And in numbers comes strength. So that might just delay your inevitable a little more. Oh god, any more encouraging words? I know, what kind of pep talk is this? Like As I see it, relying on wealth negotiations alone is far from enough. Regardless of whether the other party will be compliant, I'm negotiating okay with waiting a while. simply allows us to meet them as equals and won't grant us an upper hand. Panacone is our rival's home turf, and we already have very few chips left to play with. Rather than idly sit around while the families got us blocked off, an offensive approach might so we be fight. a wiser course of action. I do like to hear that. We're more familiar with the Stellaron's properties than most. Yeah, I don't mind waiting. And since it's the key it's to stabilizing mm. the sweet dream, it's vital to the family's interests. 
by attacking their core interests, they're bound to retaliate hastily. Haste makes waste. Haste makes waste. That's right. As long as we pose a threat to the Stellaron, either with words I'm gonna get Firefly. or otherwise, we have a chance at gaining the upper hand. But the problem is, on the eve of the Charmony Festival opening, how exactly are we going to get close to the theater? Family security will be airtight. And if we brute force it... Welcome to my... Even if we succeed, it's too risky. Hmm. So, no one's gonna say anything? Then I'll raise my hand. I know the answer to this question. Of course you do, yup. Why are you speaking like the general of the law, foo? So, I heard that before the Charmony Festival begins, there'll be a pageant to kick off the festival. It's called the Soul Glad TM Festivity Auditions. Or something. I kind of like her low key. I, I think I want Firefly. Sand. As long as we clinch the top spot, we'll be able to attain the title mm, of the Superstar. Like and Sorry. be able to personally bask in the graces of Miss Robin. Uh, not that that's important. <laughs> I don't know if she's a fan. That we can enter the grand theater before the audience arrives. No matter what, she's a fan, and so I love that. How do we go about participating in these festivity auditions? <laughs> I've already procured special invite tickets from Miss Robin's fan club. Oh, to tell How'd she you get the those? Truth, I had been preparing to join the auditions all along, but. Now it looks like even if I scrape through, I probably still won't have the chance to shake Miss Robin's hand. Well, didn't they already? So they're still running this thing, huh? It was originally just a publicity stunt set up by Mikhail to drum up attention. But it looks like it might be worth a shot. We did it. We'll follow Marge's plan. Mr. Gallagher, will you be joining us? I'm afraid I won't have the time. What are you busy doing? Character. Be honest. I've already completed my final mission. Whether Penacone can awaken from this dream is all down to you. Should we ever cross paths again? I'd love for you to visit the Express. We never cross paths again a little right. too soon. I'll have to add to that data bank of yours you've got on the Express. And Miss Firefly. We thank you for all your support. We're faced with a formidable enemy. As long as the Astro He does look like a drunk. He looks like a drunk slob. Objectives are aligned. We're willing to cooperate with you. Yay! We've already come this far together. I'd like to join you for the rest of your journey on Penacony. I'm pleased that we can finally fight shoulder to shoulder. I couldn't ask for a better ending. This is also the spirit of the Trailblaze. Now, everyone, let's prepare to move out. Uh-oh. You want proof? You got his ID? Oh, nice. Ass? What? Oh, is this the mini game shit? That's uh, fine. Me, you four? What are you hoping to get out of all this? As the just... last group of contestants, how confident are you in overcoming all of the challenges? I'm the challenge that I need to overcome. Would you be open so. to a brief exclusive interview with us? It'll be quick. No. Your journey is long and fraught with peril, yet under a sky blanketed by banners, you vie for the crown. Protect the beauty, the beauty, the beauty, the 
All right. This little freak needs to calm down. Brother Lance Focus is stubborn as a heel. We don't all have to be winners. But if we don't have fun, <laughs> we'd all be sinners. People Kay. are pouring in. Kind of feels like all sorts of baddies are showing up. I think this is a Let's great stopping point. Enter the competition. Ladies and gentlemen, please make way. <laughs> make way. Is this the owl? Allow me to introduce myself. Oh. I'm the director of Soul Glad's factory, Hydeen Leader. Is this voice said by the same guy who voices the owl from the, to the trail, like the, the keeping up with the Kardashians? Mm, hello, everybody. I'm Himiko, a nameless from the Astral Express, and these are my companions. Ooh. Uh, the girls. Don't you guys need to hide your identities? Do we? Uh, hide it anyways. Pentacony is plastered with our posters. And because the Astral Express is so well known, the family won't dare to make any rash moves. Hi, Kill. Hello, everyone. Hey, I'm hello, everyone. Serious. We're live on air. <laughs> Ooh, just hello, kicked me everyone. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Firefly. Mm, I don't like how they're looking I at me. I'm getting nervous. Also an ordinary girl who enjoys adventures. So it's a bunch of nameless guests. This final face-off is bound to be spectacular. Time is precious. My four friends, come with me. Grab a of oh. He sang that thing. Okay. Grab a bottle. So glad. All right, gang. Oh shit! I have to spin my. Yes, thank you. Well, didn't you say this part's long? Isn't it just like 40 minutes of mini games? Like, I might die. I mean, I guess maybe it would be a good idea to just get it out the way. Which one's this adventure you need? Is it this one? Does he need this? Adventuring? I don't know. I don't know what he needs. I just found my trailblaze potter. Oh, I know Akron. We'll try for the shield. Why not? Welcome to my world. Commencing support. Netmark is activated. Time for a good old counter attack. All right, TikTok. I'm gonna say goodnight to y'all now. So I'm gonna go to bed soon. Uh, as soon as I do my daily. So, good night, TikTok. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. 
see you tomorrow for more Genshin. Bye. He sounds like Jake from I Adventure Time. Hey, look at her go. Auto mode? Still waters of oblivion. Ill tidings men. What does that mean? I weep for the departed. I don't know what that means. I'm doing it auto mode right now, if that's what you mean. Oh. Get him, Gallagher. Hey, look at her go. Look at her go. My beautiful girl. Shout out Darcy for building that little girl because her damage is crazy. Yeah, it's a good thing we didn't do the mini games. I'm literally nodding off, like as we speak. I was just going. MOC? What's MOC? I don't have her. What do I do? Oh my goodness! There we go. Oh, memory of chaos. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. That big guy was just gonna make everything about himself. Shake my head. Guys, I'm not gonna make it. After this one, I'm getting off because I'm actually going to sleep. <laughs> this is so sad. I'm so old. You know what? You guys want to read James? Damn! I was about to say, I thought it was max the extra points, and I was like, what? No way. But I was wrong. Oh, hey! Got to claim that. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Yay! Oh, what's this? Oh, battle pack, claim all. Nice. 
Flame all. Nice. What's this? Oh. Nice. Okay. I'm going to bed, gamers. Oh. I think we made pretty good progress so far in the story. Uh, I think maybe I can finish it either tomorrow or at the very latest. I'll just finish it on Wednesday. Um, I know Windbloom is out tomorrow, so I gotta... Hey. Oh, my, you... You're only trailblaze level 50? I didn't know that. I thought you played Sorrow more than at least than I did. <sighs> Alright. Anyways. Yeah, I'm like shocked. I know I just I don't know why I thought you played like pretty often. I guess I just assumed wrongfully so. But hey guys. I'm sitting like this. I'm so tired. Like just hunchback in Notre Dame. I'm so sorry. Um Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for joining me on my sleepy time playthrough. Um, I will be back tomorrow with probably Genshin. I do kind of want to finish the event. So I think we will go back to Genshin. I do apologize. Um, and then I can finish this on Wednesday, which is fine. That's okay. But yes. Good night, guys. Thank you so much for spending your time today. Um, and keep me company on this quest because it's so damn long. Um, for YouTube people, I'll see you in part three, but it's going to be one video, but I'll see you in like another day or two. But yeah, can I go? Oh shit, no, we're going to raid James. Hold on. There we go. All right, we're going to raid James. Uh, raid. Copy and paste the raid message, please. And th the last time I raided someone, only Darcy sent the message. And I was sick to my stomach. I want at least three of you. Go be nice to James. James is the best. Not oh, thank thank you for hanging out, Fire. I really do appreciate it. Oh, was it you, Mayu? Oh yeah, it wasn't even Darcy. I'm sorry, you're right. There we go. That's what I like to see. All right, so we're gonna go raid James. You're not following him, please do already. James is the best. I cannot say positive things about him. Um, yeah, and I will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Ah.